My name is Adam Chester and I work as the uh, surrogate Elton, uh, basically sitting in for him at all the rehearsals that they need me and uh, some sound checks. And the most recent show at the Garden, I got to conduct the choir for his 60th birthday show. get to conduct them on stage was a thrill. Even though the only thing people saw was my back, uh, <laughs> apparently some people in New York recognized my back after the show. I was walking and, it, hey, isn't that that guy over there? I just sit in for Elton is, is what I do. And it's a very um, in the shadows kind of job. And, and I like that, you know, it's good. Even though I, I wouldn't mind um, the recognition, but it's fine uh, that I'm in the shadows and no one knows me, that you only see my back in the show. It's, it's fine. I had this band when I was about 10, and it was our first local uh, television appearance. We were on a show in, in Miami Beach where I grew up. And I remember the camera was sort of at the angle that it's at now. And uh, they were introducing us. We were a threesome. I think we were called something lame like Thunder and Lightning. And they said, and on the piano, Adam Chester. And at that very moment, I had an itch on my nose. And you tell me what this looks like. I mean, it was so... And my, and my friends were watching and they said, why are you picking your nose on television? And, you know, I was 10. What did I know? I had an itch, you know, on my glasses. So I will never scratch my nose again when I'm being introduced. Here I am playing this stuff that I was a fan of for years and I'm sitting there doing Someone Saved My Life Tonight and Tower of Babel and writing and with the band. So at times you had to pinch me because I couldn't believe I was doing it. And then they started recording it um, and so they made a CD of it and I'd run home and I said, look, I've got the CD. I, this is where I was. And it was so exciting to actually have proof, uh, you know, that I was doing this. Uh, and then my job was done. Uh, and then next thing you know, I got a call and they said, would you like to come to New York and Boston and rehearse with the band there? And of course I had to think about it for a second. And then I said, yes, of course I'll do it. And, uh, I went to Boston, rehearsed with the band. I don't want to just play it the way Adam would play it. I want to play it the way Elton would play it. So it helps them because that's my purpose at these rehearsals. It's to help the band. So I want to be as true to the recording as I can be. So I, I learn it the way he does it. And I put some of me in, I hope, and, uh, and, and make it fun. It's amazing to be a part of this, this family. It's, it's, not, it's not just about Elton. It's about the band. They're incredible. Yeah, those guys are amazing what they bring to the table. I love Benny and the Jets because there is this thing that he once did in a live show. I think it was in the 80s. Um, I must have been uh, two years old. And, uh, and, and I try to incorporate that into the song, so I, I could do a little of that. I'll go right to the piano solo.
Nigel adds a sound to this music that I don't think any other drummer could do. Davey is probably the greatest, forget the probably, he's the greatest guitarist in the world, bar none, and it, it, he brings something to the table that's just beyond belief. She's got electric boots, a more a keyboard whiz uh, you know if he doesn't want to pat his own back somebody should because he's incredible he makes those songs sound the way those songs should sound uh, right off the record and you know I'm a keyboardist and I look at him and I go oh my god I can't believe he's doing that at the same time he's doing this and Bob he's the character of the band you know when we're on a bus going somewhere and Bob has me constantly in tears laughing. He's, he's a funny guy. And I know when you say someone's funny, it's not funny. But he's funny. <laughs> I have to have played this.